Synology Active Backup for Business is an integrated backup solution to let you centralize the backup tasks from physical and virtual environments in one place. After you backup critical services to your Synology NAS, it's important to add further protection to the backup data in case of any accidents at the primary backup server. You can choose Snapshot Replication or Hyper Backup to create copies of the data and backup tasks of Active Backup for Business to a remote NAS or other destinations. If you don't have a second NAS, you could use Hyper Backup to backup to cloud destinations. However, if you have a second Synology NAS, we recommend you use Snapshot Replication to realize Backup 321 strategy in the most efficient way for faster backup and recovery. The storage size stays deduped at the destination server without affecting system performance of the VM production site and the backup server. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use snapshot replication to replicate your backup data to a second Synology NAS and how to relink from backup tasks on the active backup for business interface. Before you start, install snapshot replication package and make sure both NAS are running Active Backup for Business 2.0.4 or above. To replicate your backup data to a second Synology NAS, launch Snapshot Replication and go to Replication in the left column. Click Create. Log in to another Synology NAS at the destination. Select the shared folder containing Active Backup for Business data and settings you'd like to replicate. Note that only shared folders on a BTRFS volume can be selected. Next, schedule the replication task. Follow the wizard. Here, we set the frequency to every five minutes and remain the default setting in the retention policy. Click Apply to start the replication process. After the process is completed, switch to the destination NAS, where you can find a new shared folder named Active Backup for Business, newly replicated in the read-only mold. In order to test relinking process, you need to change the permission of the folder to the read-write mode first. To do this, we're going to perform a failover. Failover is a process switching the active site to a redundant server, so when a disaster happens at the primary backup server, you can still restore from your off-site backup. We will first demonstrate how to perform a failover rehearsal using test failover without disrupting storage replication to the destination server. This will create a shared folder for testing purpose without affecting your backup tasks from the source NAS to the destination NAS. To perform a test failover, launch Snapshot Replication. Go to the Recovery tab, click the Replicated Folder, Action, and select Test Failover. Edit the name, select a snapshot for Test Failover, and click Test Failover. After the process is completed, you'll find a new shared folder named Active Backup for Business Test in the Read Write mode. Then launch Active Backup for Business. Go to Storage and click Relink. To resume the connections with virtual machines, please go to Virtual Machine and enter your credentials. For agent based environments such as PCs and physical servers, please log into your Active Backup for Business agent with the new IP address at your destination server, username and password. After the test failover is successfully completed, if you'd like to delete the test folder, please go to Package Center to stop the package first. Next, we'll demonstrate how to perform an actual failover when disaster happens. Likewise, launch Snapshot Replication, but select Force Failover in the drop-down menu this time to switch the destination server and the source server. Then, follow the same procedure. Launch Active Backup for Business. Go to Storage and click Relink. After the source NAS is back to service, you can go back to Snapshot Replication and select Action, Reprotect to switch over again and then sync the file stored on the destination NAS to the source NAS. Active Backup for Business and Snapshot Replication together help you achieve the Backup 321 strategy, maximizing your data protection and backup efficiency. To learn more about Active Backup for Business, visit the link in the description.